Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this is going to be another pack opening video and a little bit of an exciting one because there's a very nice pack that just hit the cartel market. This one is the Grand Explorers pack and uh, the reason I'm excited for this one is because is it was data mined quite a while ago and uh, Bioware's obviously been releasing these Grand packs, right? We've seen three hit the cartel market so far. We The Grand Nightlife packs, which is, uh, you know, from all the way back in the day. And then recently we got the Grand Shadow packs and the Grand like Contraband packs, which was the first three. So basically they're just amalgamating these shipments together and giving us a cartel pack on steroids because it gives us a lot more items to choose from. But as you guys can see here, the description is very vague. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what we get out of it because they don't tell us. Other Grand packs will let us know that you're getting one reputation item and this and that. But uh, one thing I was very concerned about was the price they were going to put it up for. The other Grand Packs have gone up for 1,000 Cartel Coins. This one's going for half the price. On one hand, that makes me happy because it's a decent price. But on the other hand, I'm kind of scared now as to what actually comes out of these packs. So we'll see. Um, the items coming out of these packs are not an issue. issue. We're going to be opening 10 of them. And the real determiner of whether this pack is worth it or not will be the RNG. Because... As you guys can see, the items coming out of this pack are stellar. I mean, the Explorer packs were the time when Bioware was actually on, at their best when it came to designing armor sets and giving us not only good gold items like the Dark Legionnaire you saw there, but also some really good bronze stuff like the Tactical Infantry armor set. Like, and you can tell by the prices on the GTN, the, all this bronze stuff sells very, very high. And if you look at other bronze items from around the same time period, they're selling for significantly lower because they weren't the same quality. So even if this... um. Grand Pack gives us a lot of bronze stuff, it can still be worth it to open it. So we're going to see exactly what, com what comes out of it. Some of these lightsabers are super nice as well. And the good part about opening this pack is you might not be totally disappointed with the items you get because they might actually be nice. But once again, I'm hoping for good RNG because the Grand Nightlife packs gave us really good RNG, but the other two Grand Packs have disappointed. And when I say good RNG, I'm talking about like a gold item out of every second pack. That's how good the RNG was with the Grand Nightlife packs. I have footage on my channel that has shown just how amazing it is. But let's open up a cartel pack here and see exactly what comes out of it. So it's showing us four items. And, um, <clears throat> okay, so we got the Revenite Camp Bed, which is just a bronze decoration, and uh, the Rondell Ruby, uh, Rudy, okay. And then we have the, um, oh, the Scrap, Jajawa Scrap, and the Tapanagus, so it just seems like kind of a regular cartel pack. That's a little bit surprising. Let's see, uh, we'll open up another one here. We've got the Crystal and another bronze decoration. Ah, uh, the Crystal's a little bit disappointing. And I was kind of hoping they would add in more stuff. Other Grand Packs usually will give us more stuff. Uh, for example, the um, first Acquisitions Grand Pack, that one was giving us an item from the first three shipments. That guaranteed you an armor set. So they let us know that this one for sure is going to give you an armor set. And the Grand Nightlife Packs gave us a ton of stuff. It gave us two items, a, a die, a die pack that you could open. And um, as you guys can see here, we're just getting a lot of decorations. Uh, is there going to be a gold item soon? I really hope so. There we go, a gold item. And it is the MSM J37 Jetpack. That's a very decent jetpack. Um, it's got a very nice flourish associated with it as well. There we go. We got a really good gold item, but it took us a good few packs to get there. Not bad, though. If that's the rate of gold items, it's, it's okay. And not as good as the Grand Nightlight packs. But, um... Yeah, it's not giving us a lot of extra stuff, and the other items we're getting out of it, just a lot of bronze stuff, as you guys can see. Obviously, the upside of this is that it's giving us full armor set, so that's why it costs a little bit more than a normal cartel pack, but it's not really worth it, because as you guys can see here, this, what I've opened right now is just a normal cartel pack. I mean, that's what I would get out of opening just a cartel pack right now that costs, uh, you know, 50 times lower than that. We got the meanest iris. Yeah, uh, you know, I take that back. It's only a few bronze sets that actually sell very well. The Orbalisk, I mean, we'll check the price of this on the GTN later, but I don't think that sells very high. And I know the meanest Iris doesn't sell very high as well. And uh, only one gold item so far. Now oh, there we go. That's a decent item. The Varactyl with a uh, Revenite Battler. I don't think I have the decoration. Well, hey, there's a decent pack opening um, with some really nice silver items. There we go. We got a gold. What's it going to be? The Throne of Enlightenment. I did not know that decoration dropped out of this pack, but um, that's a very good decoration as well. That'll sell for a few million. Then we got the Bounty Table. So a ton of decorations, that's kind of the consensus, and not very many gold items. Uh, if I had opened 10 Grand Nightlife packs, I would be sitting on 5 or 6 gold items right now. I can guarantee you that. Um, 
the command center. Ooh, that's another nice. So this has, this has nice decorations, and night, uh, the Explorer packs in general had very good decorations, but um, all in all, the, uh, the pack itself is not the greatest. Um, because it doesn't give you extra stuff. Other grand packs give you extra stuff, and it does. Where's it? You know, why are they not giving us cartel market certificates? Like, if anything, these grand packs would serve the purpose of doing two, two things, right? Giving us reputation and giving us cartel market certificates. So it's a chance for us to to get that. Because a cartel market certificate in itself, you can convert it to decorations that sell for up to five million credits on the GTN. So imagine that getting a cartel market certificate worth five million credits. Uh, that would definitely make these packs a lot more worth it and then also uh, giving you reputation so you can get your reputation up and maybe go and get an exclusive item from the rep vendors at the cartel bazaar but unfortunately these packs don't be don't have that nor do they have anything like a guaranteed armor set like the other grand packs have given us and i guess that factors into the thing that it only costs 500 cartel coins but um honestly like they should give us that for 500 cartel coins that's that's a very expensive price so um yeah i mean it, it costs more than a normal cartel pack but it gives you what a cartel pack gives you and then maybe you'll get the odd armor set here or there see a lot of these decorations aren't available on the gtn because they're really old so it's good for decoration collecting and maybe you could make a few million credits off selling those decorations but um all in all uh, you know if you want i bet these grand packs will sell for around five to ten million credits so you could always just do a nice little cartel coin to credit conversion but i wouldn't waste your money on this so whether it's credits or your real money it doesn't seem to be a, a grand pack that's really worth it. Just wait for the grand nightlife packs to come back. Those will probably come back with the new nightlife event that's now been announced for uh, early July. So just wait for that and uh, we'll, we'll open some packs there. And I bet, I bet it'll have significantly better RNG. It's also a lot more worth it. But as you guys can see, the Orbalisk armor set's not selling for very much. So yeah, it's only a few select bronze items that actually sell very well. That Veractyl, for example, uh, that's probably selling for a few million. And then the Throne of Enlightenment's going to sell for quite a lot as well. So it's okay. I mean, uh, obviously the g major appeal of the Explorer packs are things like the Dark Legionnaires armor set, the, um, the uh, what's the other one, the Havoc Squad, right? Those are the things people are really wanting to get. And I mean, if this had the same RNG as the Grand Nightlife packs, I would feel a lot more optimistic because you actually would have a decent chance of getting it. But I still got some really nice items here. This, this jet pack is up for 25 million, but I've sold a few of those. My experience is that they sell for around the 15 million credit range. They'll sell pretty well. Uh, this Varactyl is probably selling for a lot more than it should be. Let's quickly check what the other Varactyls are selling for. And no, that is actually the cheapest Varactyl. I'm surprised they're selling that high. But, uh, oh, that's a pretty good drop then. But, um, yeah, I, I feel as though it would be better just to uh, to not have opened them and, um, and saved it up. So, yeah, that's my consensus on this one, guys. If you, if you care about what I have to say, do not buy these grand packs um not worth it just not worth it because of their crappy rng and it sucks because the explorer packs were so awesome they gave you so many nice items and you know what i was kind of hoping i hope bioware eventually reverts it to where they just bring the cartel packs back i mean why give us these grand packs that have bad rng and um and they don't really give you the good stuff right like just bring back the cartel packs so anyone who really wants to get their cartel market certificates their reputations and also have a chance of getting those items they can do so like that uh, or just increase the RNG and make it better. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the Varactyl I have here. The Irradiated Varactyl was one of the first mounts I ever got on my Sith Warrior. And uh, I still love it to this day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys found it informative. And I also hope I helped you save a few bucks by letting you know this pack isn't the greatest. Uh, it's, t it's actually a huge disappointment for me because I was really excited about it. But, um, but uh, yeah... The Explorer Packs are awesome, the Grand Pack is not too great. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.